Good morning to all. Today, let's move on to the next chapter, that is chapter number 14. And the name of the chapter is Air and Water. So, in this class, we are going to learn about air and water and its uses. So, you all know about air and water. It is very, very important to us, right? Plants, animals, human beings, we all need air. All need air and water to live. It is very, very important for the survival of all living things. So first, let's discuss about air and its uses. So, first of all, let me ask you, can you all see air? No, right? But air is all around us. Can you touch air? No, but we can feel air, right? We can feel the presence of air. Why? Because air is all around us. So when you sit under a fan, you feel the cool air, you feel the air. So you take a newspaper and just fan your face with it and you feel the air moving across your face. What does it mean? It means air is all around us and we all need air to live. We cannot see air but we can feel the presence of air. Then, what is wind? The moving air is called as wind. On a windy day, we can see the branches of trees bending and even the dry leaves falling from tree. So what is wind? Wind means the moving air. Then, what is breeze? The gently moving air is called breeze. So if you have visited a beach during a summer time, you could feel the breeze of water. So what is breeze? Breeze means the gently moving air. So, air is all around us. We all need air to live. And can we feel air? Yes, we can feel air, but we cannot see air. Now, let's discuss about the properties of air. Or we can say the characteristics of air. See the first one, air occupies space. So, if you take a balloon and you just blow that balloon, what happens to the balloon? it will become bigger, it will expand. So when you fill air inside the balloon, what happens to the balloon? It will expand. What does it mean? It means air occupies space. So when you blow a balloon, it becomes bigger and bigger. When you fill air inside it, it becomes bigger and bigger. So it means air occupies space. And the next one, air has weight. Even air has weight. If you take a stick, you can see the picture here. If you take a stick and hang two balloons like this, one balloon which is filled with air and the other balloon which is not filled with air. So what happens? The balloon which is filled with air will come downwards and the balloon which is not filled with air will move upwards. So what does it mean? It means air has weight. Air has weight. So that is why the balloon which is filled with air will come downwards. So air occupies space and air has weight. So air is all around us. We all need air to live. Then we learned we can feel the presence of air but can we see air? No. Air occupies space and even air has weight. So that is all about air. Then in page number 94, there are two questions given. Can you see air? Yes, no. So what is the answer? Can you see air? No. Second one, does air occupy space? Yes, no. What is the answer? Yes, air occupies space. Now, let's see the uses of air. The first one, living things need air to live. As we discussed earlier, all living things need 
air to live. We need air to breathe. Right. We all breathe oxygen. So we all need air to breathe. Even plants need air. That is plants need air to prepare food. So all living things need air to live. See the second one. It helps to dry clothes. So air helps to dry clothes. So after washing clothes, you put your wet clothes for drying. Right. So after few hours, you can see your dress gets dried up. So air helps to dry clothes. So that is another use of air. See the next one. We need air to fly kites and sailboats. So in order to move a sailboat, we need air. Wind moves a sailboat. Then for flying a kite, we need air. The next one. We fill air in balloons, footballs and cycle tires. Right. When we fill air in balloon, it will blow. So we fill air in balloons, footballs and cycle tires. So these are some of the uses of air. So from this, we can understand that air is very, very important to us. We cannot live without air. The next one is about water. So our chapter is about air and water. So about water. So water is very, very precious, right? So water is very precious and we all need water to live. And where do we get this water? We get water from lakes, wells, ponds, rivers, etc. And the rain fills water in the lakes, ponds, rivers, etc. And water is very, very important. So we should use them carefully. It is very scarce and we should use water carefully. Now, let's see the uses of water. So we know that water is very, very important to us. And let's see what are the uses of water. And water is used in our day-to-day -day life. So to drink, we need water. So you all need to drink lots of water. So for drinking, we need water. Then for cooking food, do we need water? Yes, to cook food, we need water. Then to wash, to wash your clothes, for cleaning vehicles, do we need water? Yes, we need water. Then for taking bath, do we need water? Yes, for brushing teeth, for taking bath, we all need water. We use water. Then what are the other uses? To grow plants, do plants need water? Yes, very, very important. Plants need water to grow. Then, to put out fires. So, when it is burning, to put out fires, we use water. Then, to build home, do we need water? Yes, so water is very, very important in our life. And we should use water very carefully. So, we are done with the topic air and water. So see page number 95, there are keywords given, wind. So what is wind? Moving air. And what is breeze? Gently moving air. Many people do not get enough water for their daily needs. Should we waste water? No, we should never waste water. So we should be very careful in using water. There are many people who are not able to get enough water even for their day-to-day -day activities. So we should be very careful while using water. Then see the box, remember. This is the summary of what we have learned in this chapter. Living things need air and water. Air is everywhere. Cannot see air but feel when it moves. Air occupies space. Then what are the uses of air? To live to fill air in balloons and footballs, to fly kites. So these are some of the uses of air. Then the next one, water. What are the sources of water? Rain, river, lakes, well. So from these different sources, we get water. So what are the uses of water? See, wash, cook, bathe, clean, 
grow plants so these are the uses of water so we are done with the chapter air and water i hope the topic is clear to you let's meet in the next class and discuss the exercise so till then thank you